So yesterday was day 179, or 89, I should say, 189 of protests in the city of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and the county of Pasquotank County, North Carolina. So uh, over the last week and a half or so, I had to deal with a family emergency, and so as a result, I uh, there's a lapse in my timeline from 177 all the way up until 188. But I came back yesterday and got a full recap of what happened in the last week or so. And it's basically just been the same thing that's been happening for the last couple of months. So it's nothing, we didn't miss too much. Uh, no one was hit and ran over by cars. No one was shot at. No one was verbally abused to my understanding. Uh, you know, it just seems that we are still doing daily demonstrations in downtown Elizabeth City. And yesterday was day 100. Is it 89? Was it 89? or It might have been 89. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was 89, actually. Yes, day 189. I don't know. I have to recheck my records, uh, but I've lost count as of this moment, so... But I pr I'm pretty sure it was day 189. So anyway, we walked around through downtown Elizabeth City. Uh, I don't know what was going on here, but there was like some construction. I don't know what's going on here, but there was, there was a lot going on. Uh, so I don't really know. Uh, but either way, uh, you know, we had a couple people. The kiddos are still alive and well. One of them's got a megaphone now. They took over for me uh, when I was not there. And so they are now the ones going to be chanting i you know i'm leaving them in charge you gotta get the next generation up and ready to rumble because i'm sure this next generation is going to see a lot of shit in their lifetimes but either way uh yesterday we did another very nice demonstration we changed our daily demonstration times uh from 6 p.m to 5 p.m because of the changing amount of sunlight that is involved in uh you know the sun goes out quicker so we moved it to a 5 p.m. Personally, I prefer that uh, because more people are out and about at 5 compared to 6. And so, there you go. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any updates. There is an update, actually. Uh, the person who drove into the crowd uh, in May of this year, Lisa O'Quinn, got her case continued up until May of next year, one year after the initial incident. So she has some pretty good lawyers, I guess. They're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for that shit. And they successfully basically bought her an entire year. And I'm sure that by that point, you know, people are going to forget the crimes that she committed and she's probably going to get off on parole or some shit. That's going to be pretty incredible to watch. Uh, but either way... Uh, you know, again, this is how it works, you know, when protesters get charged, uh, with a bunch of garbage, uh, when they get a continuance, it lasts for maybe a month, sometimes a month and a half, right? But if you drive into the crowd and try to kill people, call them racial slurs, whatever, we'll deal with that later. Someone walking on the sidewalk, well, we got to prosecute you as soon as possible. If we don't prosecute someone for walking on the sidewalk at 8.03 p.m., all hell's gonna break loose. Driving into the street, right, during a parade, and just running down people as you scream racial slurs out the window. I mean, we can get to that anytime. I mean, that's that's a misdemeanor. That's a small-time crime. Walking on the sidewalk at 8.03 p.m., on the other hand, that's pretty rough stuff in the state of North Carolina and the county of Pasquotank County. This shit fucking sucks, folks. And it's gonna suck. And it's never going to stop sucking because the world we live in is garbage. The people in charge of Elizabeth City are garbage. The people in charge of Pasquotank County are garbage. And I, I'm going to be honest, the people trying to replace these people are also garbage. The whole system is trash, right? The whole system of American democracy, as people call it, is trash. I mean, we're looking at this case with Kyle Rittenhouse where the judge in that instance, is saying, oh, you can't use the term victims. They were actually arsonists. Huh? Huh? And we're seeing that very same kind of treatment here in Pasquotank County, where the judges don't give a shit about people that scream racial slurs and try to run down Black Lives Matter demonstrators during a permitted parade. That's fine. 
Though, again, if you got caught on the sidewalk at 8.03 p.m., hey, got to lock them up. There's no other option. So, either way, that's what's going on in Elizabeth City. But yesterday, I believe it was day 189. Someone can fact check me if they would like. But um, I'm pretty sure today will be day 190. And uh, so it's good to be back. I'm going to be honest. I haven't done screaming for a week and a half or so. And my throat's a little fucked up from the chanting and the mic- megaphone. Um, so, you know, I, <laughs> I got to get back into the, the swing of things. But we've continued. Uh, the chain has continued to be unbroken. 